I'm live, I think. I'm gonna play a little Donkey Kong Country. Because I felt like it. Congo Jungle. It's been a long time since I tried to do a stream by myself. Oh my god, the TV's a little close. Maybe I'll back up a bit. <laughs> eh, am I still visible? Looks like it. That should be a little better. Oh no. I was getting good at this, but I haven't played in a bit. Now I think I might suck again. So just warm up. Get used to things. Oh, yep, that's right. That's right. Get hit by everything. Boing, boing. Bouncy DK falls down and hurts his head. And that's how you beat level one of Donkey Kong Country. For an E1. Who forgot? It's a tough one, you know. Real hard. Need to move back a little further, I think. It's too close to the TV. See all the pixels? It's weirding me out. Level two. The best one. If you like level two. I remember there's a secret in here I was trying to get used to nailing. I think it's here. Yeah, that's the one. And then you just go. Oh, water, and it goes down there, and that's just fine. Maybe blast through a mountain. Test stream, woke as cabbage. What's up, awesome surge? It is woke as cabbage, just as woke as it can be. I was planning on streaming a little earlier, but I got caught up in editing, so I rode that wave. And I think Mac and Lynn will be off work soon, and we're gonna go eat some food, and then. Record some Sonic 06. But in the meantime, I felt like playing just a little bit of Donkey Kong. And just making sure. Because I plan to do more streaming in the future. Oh, that was terrible. So I want to make sure I get everything set up right. I was just watching my pal stream and see you live. What magic is this? Hey, Raxby, hey, you. How are you guys? Face cam. It's the sign of end times. Yeah, Lin, Lin is not a big fan of face cam. I like to do it some, like maybe half the time. I'm all cleaned up. I had the day off today, so I went and had a shower and got myself all cleaned up. All that jazz, but sometimes it's like, you know what? I want to stream, but I look like butts, and gosh darn, I'm not going to do anything about it. So it depends on the day. Plus, I want to get everything tested out, including the cam, so... Yeah, no. It's been a while, Raxby. How are you? This is... I was actually... While we were kind of Game Face hiatusing, Lynn, Jamie, and I were getting a little into DKC speed running, Trying to see how fast we can beat the game, and just kind of, like, recording our times, and... Trying to beat each other. It was fun! So I thought... Any time that I'm like, you know what, I want to play a little Donkey Kong. Maybe I'll just stream the damn thing instead of doing it off screen. Try to, anyway. Because I think that'd be fun. Get back into the streaming game. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's what I wanted. How are the levels, by the way? Audio of the game compared to my voice, all that jazz. For some reason, I forget what I did. I set it up weird now, so whenever I need one to test the levels, I have to record the video and then like throw it into Premiere before I can figure out if it sounds good. Dokupon Kingdom season in terms of waiting. Dokupon could still happen. It could. It really could. We just need to get the four of us in the same damn room. Ryan's tricky. He lives a million miles away. Not a million. Clearly heard over the game. Game auto could be slightly louder. Gotcha. I have been good, Raxby. And I turn the game audio up just a touch. There's my mouse. Okay. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Back to Kongi. Oh, why can't I see the ground? We're fine. Everything's fine. Ass. Crap. <laughs> The YouTube GDC vid. GDC. 
I can never remember, like, whenever somebody uses... What's GDC? That's what I'm trying to say. I might have seen it, but I forget what GDC is, because I'm stupid. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Can actually hear the music now. Excellent. Don't want to miss out on that Donkey Kong music. Wee I could try some of the speed running tricks I was practicing. But I'm just trying to get used to the game again right now. Wham. There's a trick here I was trying to learn. Let's see if I can do it right. Did not do it right. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know why, but this has always been one of my favorite games to just put on, play for a short amount of time, maybe get like a play through it once or twice. It's just a it's a great length for a sit down and play like the whole way through kind of thing. It's something about Donkey Kong Country 1 I've always found really relaxing until you get to the last few episodes or levels. Deep in farming games, hell save me. Which farming game are you playing, you? Is it Stardew? You gonna get Yoshi's Crafted World? Probably. It looks good. I know Lynn has her eye on that as well as Sekiro. I think she's gonna get Sekiro right away and probably wait a little bit for some, uh, before she picks up Yoshi. My next purchase is probably Mario Maker 2 myself. <laughs> Since you're playing, how about some DK rap? Oh. No. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You might get like a verse out of me. Ooh, I'm surprised I didn't eat shit there. It is what it is. Monkey, kill the beaver. Oh, that didn't work. That's more in line with what I was trying to do. Exit. Story of Seasons, Trio of Towns, and Stardew. So all of the above. <laughs> That's some good farm action. Now, should I practice this level, or should I just jump over it? Yeah, just jump over it. It's not hard to do minecart. Although I could have used it just for fun. I mean, minecart's pretty fun. Well, I could always go back to it if I change my mind. Any thoughts on the movie Sonic designs? They're pretty weird. But I will hold, hold further judgment until I see it in motion. Like, it kind of reminds me of what they're doing with Detective Pikachu, which is what I'm, I'm all about, like, the look at the Detective Pikachu movie. But, like, looking at those Sonic ones, it doesn't feel like it has the same charm. It feels gross. But maybe once I see things moving around, maybe it won't be so bad. I'm thinking not. But I'll try to withhold judgment. Oh, what? That was weird. Yeah, it was a little weird. Let's get Diddy back, because he's better at everything. It will be interesting once they actually get a trailer out for it. It's interesting that Sonic is played by that... Oh, what's the name of the dude? I, I never remember his name, but he was in, like, Parks and Rec, and seems like a funny guy. Should make for an interesting Sonic. In Deadpool's Pikachu, which is just great. Has anyone heard that I had Danny DeVito do some practice? I, d I just saw that, like, maybe an hour ago. That's That would have been something. I would have been all about that. Oh, yeah, I can cheat this level, too, I think. I'm still pretty excited for Deadpool Pikachu, but Danny would have been, like, it just would have fit so well. Take that level. Who needs to play the level when you can just walk over it? I know in the, when we were running the game, me, Lynn, and Jamie, we were playing a kind of a mode, well, not a mode, but just like house rules that you had to play every level, like no full level skips, which has been fun. And like in, uh, what the hell is it called? The Snow Barrel Blast, there's one section that you can skip that's like one of the harder sections of the game. So we're like, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. And often that level makes me die. And then my run is over because Snow Barrel Blast is a big bitch. I was also practicing something with this level where apparently you can like 
get invincibility frames when you cartwheel at certain times and like go through the beavers. But it's it's it's, it's tricky. I usually just die in the attempt. Uh, I can do it here though. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. This guy was fucks me. Oh, I got past him. So that's good. Three snakes in a row. I'm not gonna try it there. Not worth the risk. What happened to Metopia the last we heard? There was two maxes in prison. That's a good point. With a lot of those series that don't get completed, it's because the viewership tanks and people don't seem interested anymore, or we lose interest. With Metopia, it was mostly that the views tanked, and I didn't really hear that people wanted more. So, knowing that you are wondering where it is definitely makes me more inclined to want to go back to it. I would not say it's dead. It could come back. Just not sure of when that would be. Could be one that we could come back and stream, too. I feel like a lot of the series is that... I don't know. YouTube seems to hate long plays, basically, is what it comes down to. So, a lot of long plays we may sub for streams, unfortunately. Not, like, super unfortunate, because it still would be a lot of fun, but... Just kind of sucks that YouTube, like the form format, seems to have changed so much that, in a way, Let's Plays aren't as viable. I don't intend to stop doing them, but you can definitely tell that like some things just YouTube isn't showing them to people. And Metopia was definitely one of those things. Like the the view started off really strong, one of our better ones, and then it just trickled. I was having a lot of fun with Metopia, though. That game was a, a pleasant surprise. Getcha. That's another one that we didn't finish on YouTube that we were talking about streaming. I know there's a couple. Oh, one is definitely Cuphead. I absolutely want to finish Cuphead, and I think streaming's the way to go for that one, because it gets to the point now where beating one level takes like an hour, so... Expect that one soon. I'm in a cuphead mood. I think Lynn is too. Love more Pintopia personally. Good to know. Glad to hear you guys were feeling it. Maybe we'll do a maybe we'll do a stream sometime and upload like the archive. Tank <laughs> Lynn got, never got her revenge on the Seinfeld Dark Lord. Yeah, I was thinking I need to get on my ass and actually upload the archives. Because every time I do a stream, I intend to upload the archive, and then I just kind of forget. So I just got to get get on myself. And if you do notice that there's an archive you'd like to see that doesn't make it on, shoot me a message. Because I, I want to have those up there. The one I, we did the other week with Ian, I want to get up as well. And the other one we did with Ian, Sunday night, I believe. I think I hear my phone probably check in in a second to make sure because I'm, I'm going out for lunch with Lynn and Mac in a bit before we record some Sonic 06 so I think they're gonna probably be ready and let's see it's 322 now so probably like another 25 minutes or so yeah, don't go in there yet ah, let's see if I can skip it yeah and you hit this guy, and you don't follow your death. I've made that mistake plenty of times. I need to clip the times you sang Simple and Clean, aka. Okay. Oh, was that the Bloodborne Halloween stream? Will you do more Monkey Ball so Lindsay can hate you all? I'm always down for some Monkey Ball, and Lindsay's never down for some Monkey Ball, so absolutely. <laughs> Love Monkey Ball. It's still one of my favorite games. What is Lindsay saying? Are we going to eat right away? Because if so, I can text you when I get here. I'm gonna say yes. Ooh, I wonder if I can. Uh, this is one of the levels I was practicing a strategy in, but I haven't done it in like a month, so let's see if I can actually do it. Not if I hit that B. All right, what is it? You go here, you hit this tie, and then you throw that at him. Go over here, hold. B, hit him, and then get on the corner. There we go, I did it! Sweet. I have to remember to hold B at a certain time, or I will stay up here. I 
think it's when this Kremlin gets off screen. Let's see if I did that right. Well, now I can look at the chat. How's the production of the Brian's chicken body pillow? Coming along slowly. We got the pillow part done. It's just the Ryan body uh, chicken part that needs to be finished. There's a faster way to do this trick too, but it's frame perfect and I've only gotten it right a couple times, maybe. I'd say about 10 times total, but I've tried many, many times. <laughs> Lindsay says, okie dokie, I'll take a look at you. Could you bring down one of my plaid shirts? Sure, Lindsay, I could do that. So once Lindsay texts me, I gotta go. But for now. Hey, Legend of Joy. Thank you for streaming. I'm glad I could catch this one this time. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a very short one. Uh, Lynn's just getting off work shortly and we're going out with her and Mac to eat some lunch and then record some Sonic 06. But I'm it, my intention is to up streaming a lot in the upcoming time. So hopefully, lots more in the future. And it's very good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. I saw your name the maybe a week or two ago when I was lurking in a Brutal Moose stream and I got happy. <laughs> I lurk on a lot of Brutal Moose streams. He's a good boy. Yeah, just practicing a little DKC. Which I also intend to do a lot of. I also downloaded a few timers, like the speedrunners do, so I could actually... I could do runs on stream. Which is... It's harder to talk to chat, obviously. But if me and Lin stream together, then one of us could do a run and the other could kind of keep an eye on the chat. We were also thought of doing races on stream would be fun. Once again, a little hard to talk, but I still thought it'd be a cool idea. <laughs> About revisiting Busy Town. There's an idea I can get behind. There's always room for more Busy Town. Hey, C, welcome. Not the bees. Does Lynn also? Yeah, Lynn is definitely the best of the three of us, I would say. Although, I, I think I beat her time recently. Yeah, I think I did. But up to that point, she was demolishing up us. I just kind of... Oh, crap. I was upping my game to try to compete with her. And I finally got to the point, oops, where I can kind of tango with her. But I would say she is definitely the best of the three of us for just, like, straight-up DK skill. I've been, like, practicing specific levels and trying to improve times, but she's just good at the game. That was weird. Hard to catch streams. Twitch is always yeah. Twitch is screwy. Everything's screwy. Ah, uh, the bean challenges. Those were. I think I still have a few of those. I definitely still have Marmite kicking around. I could probably think of some stuff to do with it. Oh, what? It ate my jump input. It wasn't me. I didn't. It wasn't me dying. It ate my jump input. I swear to you. That's what happened. I think my best time on this game, if I recall correctly, I haven't beaten an hour yet. I'm very close. But my last run that I did that was really good, I think was 101 something. And that's with making sure that we do all levels, like without full level warps and doing all of Snow Barrel Blast. Because that's our weird little rules we made. It's been fun. Oh, come on! Come on, now I gotta dodge these barrels poorly. Not letting you off screen, did he? Oh, I hate these freaking Mankey Kongs. Bam, bam. Pretty sure Espresso's gone. So I'm not going to try to uh, save that. Not going in there. I don't know what it is. Did he go down to hole? This game along with some others or some that look so good, it's almost hard to tell it's for SNES. It's true. They are, they are something. Like, there's not a lot of games that have this style, that's for sure. They're very unique. It's funny though, because when you get super close to the screen, like I am now, like the pixels become very apparent, and it kind of has a funny look to it, but not in a not in a bad way, I wouldn't say. It's just interesting. Because wasn't it? I think this is one of the first games where they made three D models and then they like sprite it over top of them, if I recall correctly. Oh come on, this and maybe Super Mario PG and a couple other games. To mind. Clam City! 
wonder if I'll make it to Snow Barrel Blast before Lindsay gets here. Probably not. My boy! I'm glad it's a boy, right? My boy! Pretty sure he's a boy. Let's go. Let's get out of Clam City. I'm done with Clam City. Clam Chatter? Anytime. Clam City? No thank you. Don't hit that. Don't hit that. Compress the 3D models so they could work as sprites. Maybe that's what it was. Remember this level from the challenge you did with the Unos channel? Oh, yes. Is Lindsay riding her moose to work again? Nah, I think she took the polar bear today. Moose is in the shop. I'm gonna get this beat. I'm gonna get him. Down, up. Down, up. And then I. Uh... Thank you. Come over here. And when you're yellow. Oh, that was close. Oh, God, he's gonna get me. No! Don't be me. Ooh. Oh, God. I forgot he wasn't dead. Why is this boss stressing me out so much? It's usually quite easy. Now I have to wait for him. There, he's dead. We need more of Max's dad. His uh, Twitter account and YouTube channel? Yeah, they're. I would watch more of that. The Ian's dad and Max's dad show. Snow Barrel Blast. Well, we did make it before Lindsay got here. What do you know? I don't... I can beat it, though. This level... There's two levels that always kind of stump me. And it's this one. And Poison Pond. They give me trouble every time. If I can nail the trick I was working on up here, though, I'll be pretty happy. This one I feel like I'm pretty good at. I have to keep Diddy, though. That's the tricky part. So I know there's a bee up here that usually hit and he almost did because of slidey physics. He almost got me. Don't you hit me, bee. All right, here we go. Let's give it a try. Grab the thing. Hit the... There. Jump. Hit the edge. Ah, I just missed it. Curses. Does he try again, or does he say no? Well, I'm going to be gone soon anyway, so I'll try again, I guess. I was really close. I think I just uh, hesitated a little too much. Oh! It's been really cool as well to uh, be able to do a few streams with Ian lately. It's nice to see that he's uh, back in the mix. I know he's been a busy boy lately. I haven't been able to talk to him. Lots of smashing and adulting and all that jazz. Adulting is tough, man. That, I think, should do it. Yeah, there we go. Woo! That one always feels fun to get. Now for the fun part. Now, I could cheese it and just uh, do the shortcut. But I don't know. For some reason, we like to try to do Snow Barrel just because it's like one of the hardest parts of the game. Oh, I almost accidentally got the secret. I had it to a point where I could do this pretty fast, too, but... I'm a little off. It's, as any streamer would tell you, or YouTuber or whatever, it's always a little different when you're playing for an audience. Nerves and stuff. But that's something I want to be able to get used to as well. Ah, come on. Gotta watch out for that. If I can beat this level before Lindsay gets here, I'll call that a little mini victory. I don't think it's going to happen, though. She should be here any minute. Hit <laughs> B, because it's... Alright, I just got to make this. Don't hit the B. Don't hit the B. Don't hit the B. Okay, that should be it. Just don't get hit by this clap trap up here. Sweet! That was a pretty decent snow barrel blast. I'm okay with that. Keeping up with One Piece, other animus. Oh, animus, animes. <laughs> One Piece, I usually catch up and then I wait two or three years before I catch up again. So right now I am behind. I was right at the part, I think like Big Mom was there. And they were on Sanji Island or something. That was the last thing I saw. It's been really cool. Snow levels! <laughs> yeah. I'm going to want to do this again real soon. I probably should. No, I won't take off yet. Lynn will be soon, but I still got a few more minutes. I'll decay a little further. This level is a weird one because the camera likes to stay up top. Like The level itself isn't too bad. It's just trying to navigate. You can do that. Don't 
don't hit. Oh, these guys suck. They suck, I tell you. I love the music in this level. Snow Barrel Blast also has really good music. Woo! Don't touch me. I don't like you. Two Kremlins up here, I think. Yep. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Oh. Good. Good, good, good. Almost lost it there. And then I think there's a bee up here. Oh, oh yeah, I knew. I knew I had to look out for it, but I forgot in what capacity. <laughs> I was like, this is a point where I get hurt sometimes, but why? That was it. But I think I should still be able to beat the level. I think it's just up here. Ooh, I touched it. Who's my Smash Ultimate main? Right now, I'm really enjoying Piranha Plant, Dr. Mario, and Pichu, I think, are my... My three boys just picture the audience not wearing pants because we aren't yeah that's the definitely one of the top reasons a lot of oh come on i hate dying like that the top one of the top reasons whenever i do think man i should do a stream but then i remember i have to put pants on although technically i guess you don't have to it's like it's not a prerequisite to be wearing pants especially if you don't put the cam on but Definitely uh, is nice to not wear pants. Is anyone else one of those people where, like, when they get home from work or school or anything, the first thing they do is de shoe, de sock, de pant? Because I do every time. Pretty much every time, anyway. I'm a man of comfort. I like being comfortable. Don't touch. Keep an eye on my phone, or Ling will get mad at me. Oh, that's not death, right? I'm not dead. Yeah, Mankey Kong. This is a level where I know if you do end up losing Espresso early, you lose so much time. Prana Plant is crazy fun to play. I like playing as the Prana Plant a lot. I started off really bad with uh, the plant, but I think I've got, I'm getting the hang of it. I can win a little better now. Can't see your lower half. You could not wear them. Yeah, but then if I get excited and stand up or something, then I get banned from Twitch and <laughs> stream with Cam. He goes laundry. I did do a lot of laundry today. Yeah, so I'll sometimes just like change into my pajama pants, which is like the same thing pretty much. Depends on what time of year it is. Why do the animal bodies tend to have sneakers yet the comics are barefoot? That's a good question. That's one of those weird animals in entertainment things like why are they wearing diapers why do some of them have pants and not some of them not yeah pjs as soon as i get home yeah now, now that you're mentioning it guys i'm definitely more so pjs at this time of year because it's like it's winter you want to be cozy cozy winter wear Lindsay bought me a new pair of pajamas for christmas i believe they got pikachu on them she always buys me pajamas because if I don't have a pair, I wear hers and it makes her make it. It's funny. And for some reason, I go through pajama pants really quickly. I always put a hole in the crotch. Not on purpose. It's by accident. Must be rubbing my crotch too much. It happens. This level is long and it's not hard. It's just long. Too hot for Twitch. <laughs> Oh, I do believe I have the vapors. Worn pajama pants. Max has worn pajama pants that were falling apart, <laughs> apart on stream. Lynn said they were real. There was, were probably my old yellow Pikachu pants. I still have them. The, the holes are bigger. They are not uh, having people over appropriate anymore. And yet sometimes I'll still wear them. Do, 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 do. This music is definitely one of the most calming video game tracks. It just makes me feel so serene and good. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a good time playing one of my favorite games. Guys, what are some of your favorite childhood games? This and Mario 3 and Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, Banjo, Conquer come to mind for me. Those are ones I always like to come back to. Some of them at least like once a year. Poco 
Pokemon Red. Good choice. Koopa Bros, welcome. I won't be long. Uh, Lindsay's driving back here. Oh, I think that's her now, actually. I may have to leave. Just picking back up. Never mind. I still have a bit. Mario Party was the very first game. Oh, that's a cool game to have for your first. Mario Party is a good time. I have a weird memory. I've probably told this in episodes before, but I used to rent Mario Party 1, and then when I had to take it back, I had, like recorded a VHS of us playing it. And I would just pretend that I was still playing the game. So I just like pressed the buttons and the controls. I was like, oh, that was kind of what I was going to do if if I still had the game. I had an imagination. I'll, I mean, there's that. That level's done. Mario Mario 3 Punch-Up. Excellent choices. Yeah, I played a lot of Mario back in the day. I could never beat it. I'm bad at Mario 1. So bad. Regret search for Reptar. Nice. Never played it, but I've watched others play it. All the Kirby's, good choice. Kirby's are always fun. Yeah, Kirby Superstar actually is another one for me. Very first thing I think is Duck Hunt, though when I was a little to understand what I was doing, I hated the dog laughing at me. Yeah, I played a lot of Duck Hunt too, but I, I haven't played that game in years. I would love to get an old CRT out and shoot some screen. That would be fun. Mario games, Sonic games for GameCube are always my childhood favorites, and many N64 games. Nice. Yeah, I still come back to those a lot, too. Sonic Adventure 2 is still a classic. Sonic 2. Anything with Sonic and 2 in it. Kirby's Air Ride. Interesting. I actually picked that up recently. Just uh, at a store. I'd never really played it before. It's fun. We played it with Ian on the channel once, which uh, that was a lot of fun. On his channel, Born Moves of Gaming. This level legs. I know speedrunners don't get squawk to fight the leg, but I'm not ready for that. Ooh, I can't hit that guy. He's too big. Thanks, guys, for coming out on a random weekday afternoon with no notice. That's, I wasn't sure if anyone would actually show up, so that's cool. When you beat Mario 1, you go back to level 1. I beat the game three times on the way to the fourth, and my Nintendo froze. <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal. Mario RPG, yep. Yeah, good choice. Me too. Sims 1 on his PS2. Back in the day, I saw the phrase move in a family on the box that led me to believe I could move into his character's house and play co-op. I bought the game on the GameCube as quickly. Aw, that kind of stuff sucks when that happens. Weird throw-off Mario Party type of treasure hunting game. That sounds cool. Kotatsuki, welcome to the stream. I like your, uh, that looks like, oh, what the hell's your name from Persona 4? Chia. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I think you know what I mean. Which animal buddies? Would I want to return in a new deal or future Donkey Kong game? That's a good question. Love on guard. Express is good. Um, I gotta think. Oh, squeakers. That's what I call the spider. Squitter. I love squitter. Yeah, he he was really cool, and uh, he was useful too. I took a hit. Right. Chie, thank you. Yes, that's the one. For some reason, I could not remember her name. I was like, Chiaki? No, that's not good, Rampa. It's Chi something. It's not Chi. That's Chobits. It's cool. I'm getting to the point where some of these levels that used to kind of stump me are not as bad. You see the call to action, we respond. For the lols. Some squatter levels. Just made a web path. Yeah, same here. There was one really long one I remember. Me and uh, Ian did a race of Donkey Kong Country 2, which at the time I was really bad at. And I'm not sure if... It, I hope it will still see the light of day. Because we did the whole thing. And with his uh, resurgence to the internet, it's possible he may still have the files. I would love to be able to rewatch that one. 
It was fun. I like doing races. Ewoks in the last level. And what's after this? Uh, Fear Factory, or whatever it's called. Oil Drum Alley. The music in this level is also really kick-ass. Take that, you stupid beaver! I almost got through all the fun levels of this game. Not a big fan of the final ones. But I have been practicing them, so they don't piss me off as much as they used to, at least. I'm playing on the SNES Classic, and there's a few tricks that I tried to do that that are patched out, which is kind of kind of sad. But if I ever get really serious and want to run it on the original hardware, that's an option. SNES is classic, it's just so convenient. Great. Don't you touch. Oh, crud. I just ate shit. Christmas 1994. The Ling, the one Ling, welcome. It is very Christmas 1994, isn't it? How are things? Had a DK urge and had to act. Right, if I can beat this level before Lindsay gets here, then that is a. I'll call that a mini victory. Probably do have to leave like in a minute. That was stupid. Alright, let's try to beat the level with this dumb monkey. I really suck at playing as DK, as is apparent. Actually, I've been watching, rewatching BLG with you and Ian Lynn. Find that I go back and rewatch Chaos Edition and other vids every single year. That's awesome. Chaos Edition was super fun. We really wanted to beat that stupid game. <laughs> we got so close. But the final Bowser just could not be toppled. Remember when Max let Michael Jordan always lose? <laughs> Good old NBA Space Jam. And you always lose. Space Jam 2 has a release date. Uh. What is it, 2021 or something crazy? That's a movie I never thought would see the light of day. Wonder if it's gonna suck. I really hope it doesn't. My kid's starting to play Mario Wanted as, as his first game. That's awesome. That actually brings me great joy. I hope he continues to enjoy the old classics. Crap. All right, just gotta take a patient here. I was gonna do a skip and I said no patience and is there another one nope that's it yo man <laughs> who's your hero now just watched the recent ADDQ of this race this morning I watched that yeah that was a good race I like that one I learned a few things from it, actually. Me too, Joy. I hope, uh, I hope we actually stick to coming back and being around. Because I always miss it. We just get into those frames of mind where you get all anxious about, like, thinking about starting a stream or a recording or something. And I don't know. It's definitely, it's one of those things, the, the longer you wait, the worse it gets. If you just like, you know what? Even if I can't put out a video every day or stream as often as I want, just do it when I can. And it's still fun. These are the levels I'm not big on. And there's a little too many of them near the end of the game. Oh, the cat made a weird noise and I didn't know what the hell it was. It sounded like water spilling. And read the chat and get into those frames of mind that make your Pokemon die. Yes, you do. <laughs> that is another thing. I should really just, like, sometimes, like, I'm too tired to record. Well, all the time I'm like that. You know what? It probably doesn't matter that much. Like, if I'm tired and I'm doing a recording session, then it's just a tired recording session. So what? It's still fun. It's still good times. Still probably some funny commentary in there. 
need to apply that to my day to day. Just gotta do it. It's true. It is true. The, and it's like back to the like the more you allow it to just kind of take over whatever you're trying to accomplish there, the harder it is to get back into it. I feel like as long as you like even try to do just one little thing a day, no matter what it is, even if I don't have the energy to do a recording or a stream or something, it's like, well, you could make like an asset or you could set up some of the thumbnails for future videos. Just a little something just to make sure you're not forgetting about it and lying on the couch after work every single day. <laughs> okay, after this level, I should probably go. I think Lynn wants me to grab her a few things before I leave. Just beat this level. I'll probably evoke the drowsy. I did clear Minecart Madness, although I cheated. There's a... You can just jump off the edge at the very start of the level and it warps you to the end. I didn't know that, but I do now. I love how Claptraps are in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, that's great. I actually forgot about that. Some days it goes amazing, other days you lose your starter to a surfing raccoon. Alright, guys. I gotta go. We are gonna go get something to eat. And... Yeah, Max is he's almost here. I'm gonna record some Sonic 06 tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. And hopefully another stream again real soon. Thanks for stopping by, guys. This was very impromptu. And I just kind of wanted to do it. So hopefully again real soon. Hope you all have a good day. No sushi. We did sushi yesterday, actually, for me and Lynn's anniversary, which is really, really good. But I think we're just gonna do like Boston pizza tonight. Something simple. Alright, catch y'all later. Thanks for stopping by.